One, two. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. One, two. You can see me clearly. You can't, but I'm sorry, I'm trying. It has taken a lot of procrastination to finally get to this point. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetunday. No long thing. We are here for a purpose. We are here for a reason. And the reason is, I'm asking the question, is London the most expensive city in the world? I think that I've lived in, yes, yes it is, yes. Obviously, I've spoken about moving back to London, the big LDN, where I grew up, done know the MySpace. My name is Yetunde, by the way, if it's your first time, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before and you just come and you just watch a little bit here and there, but you haven't subscribed, I'm gonna ask you why. Good are we fighting? Shan Jani. Do you think that my accent is fake? Is that why you feel like this girl was just putting on a show? No, we're not going to put an accent thing. Don't mind me. Just subscribe. Hit that subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. I'm probably going to cut that part out. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And welcome back to my channel. I'm going to give you guys the real gist. The real gist. Because let me be honest. I know that, you know, we are all nosy by nature, all of us. We like to know what is the real deal? What is really happening here? What is, how is it really going down? What are you really up to? So I said, let me satisfy those of you that have that curiosity. Let me satisfy it in this video. And let's talk about money. And specifically, bills. But you pay my bills, you pay my telephone bills, you pay my automobiles, you pay my with a chill. A lot of my viewers on this channel I know are from Nigeria. My Nigerian people, how an idea now? Yeah, my pigeon is, is sweet. If you're watching this video, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see and engage with everyone from different parts of the world, and I find it amazing that you guys watch my channel. Like, oh my gosh! <laughs> Anyway, so I said I want to talk about monies. I want to talk about the fact that London is bloody expensive. When people ask me yesterday, oh my gosh, you know, so you've moved back to London. How is it? Oh my God, I'm like, it's great for the most part. It is good. It's been nice to be back. You know, you know you've, you've probably been watching my videos. If you haven't been watching my videos, I don't know what your problem is, but... If you've watched my vlogs, you know that we've really settled back into London life. Um, it has been, it's just, it, it's kind of been with ease. Thank God. Well, let me not lie. It has not been that easy initially. You know, obviously some of you may know we were staying at my mum's for a bit and then we got our own place. This is the first time in my adult life, actually in my life, that I've lived on my own in the UK. I know, I went to university and, it, and throughout university, I stayed in university halls. Um, for the summer, I stayed in the, in the house and that didn't work out. So that's like, that was my little introduction to kind of like quote unquote adult life. But this is the first time in the London with the pound sterling that I am living on my own. Well with my family, but I am one one of the people in charge. Ain't that something? I know. 
I know. As much as I like, you know, the period at my mum's house, it was great and it was not so great because obviously for your mother, you're always going to be her baby. You're always going to be her baby girl. The reality of living with your parents is that you are pretty shielded from paying certain bills and just the full reality of the fact that London is bloody expensive. You know that, you know, you buy things. When you guys come, if you come and you, if you've been here to visit or if you are from London and you live here, you, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I'm specifically talking about London because although I've lived outside of London when I was at uni, again, I said I was living in halls. So I don't have any idea what it's like to live outside of London. I've always been in London. And let me just tell you guys, it's expensive. And I want to give you guys a breakdown actually today. I'm going to give you a breakdown of my monthly bills as an adult. Go Yeti, go Yeti, go Yeti, yeah. So the first one, of course, is rent. It is, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much my rent is, but it is over a thousand pounds every month. Obviously, it's just myself and Fermi that are here primarily, and my husband comes and goes. So we have a pretty small flat, it's two beds, and um, it's a flat. I say it's a flat because it's all pretty much Mm, kind of like one level kind of thing so you know the prices will be based on that and also the location will affect the prices and yeah and um, and things that are around it the amenities like if there's a station nearby but that could increase the price or if there's like um a series like a high street nearby that would in increase the price so those are the things that you have to factor in when you're paying when you want to look for a place and you have a budget for the kind of rent that you want to pay. Number two is it's council tax. Oh my goodness. Council tax, council tax. So let me break down what council tax is. So council tax is a tax that we pay to our local authority or our local council for the services they provide, such as taking away our rubbish and um, maintaining the roads and which we could do with in Lagos. Um, and also street lights and the lo you're just basically looking after the, the local area that you live in so that's one of the necessary oh, bills that we pay but let me tell you then it's not cheap in different areas it, it is different it can range from usually about like 70 pounds upwards and it can also be based on the area that you live in it's also dependent on how many people live in the house like if there is more than one adult they will charge you based on that if there is um yeah like depending on how many adults are in the house each of you have to pay a contribution towards the council tax and yeah it can be quite high my one is about 90 pounds that yeah it's 90 pounds every month don't you just love it Love it. <laughs> the third one is electricity and gas. You may have seen on different parts of social media how people have been complaining and, you know, rightfully so about the fact that the electricity and gas prices in the UK are going to, they're going to skyrocket by the winter. And this is something that many of us are not looking forward to. Let me tell you that for free. We pay about £200 a month that's you know just kind of a rough guesstimate because again we have not fully entered into winter now we've started to put on the heater it would likely it will definitely increase um hopefully not too much that's the hope without us freezing <laughs> but God forbid we'll never freeze we use a meter some place some people have bills i prefer the meter because at least i know what i'm spending so i pay according to how i you know I pay, I, I can see it. Whereas I don't want to get my, a bill. Here you go. Here is your bill of 500 pounds. God forbid. Um, <laughs> even in Nigeria, we have um, an electric meter. So I'm, you know, I'm used to that. So uh, yeah, so that's what we have. Food. Ah, food. Food prices have skyrocketed. Like, guys, I used to say how in England, this is when I when I first moved to Nigeria back then. I would say that in England you can buy you can have fifty pounds and you'd you'd be fine. Like you that would last you at least like two to three weeks. Now fifty pounds 
just about last two to two to three days um it is that real i'm not even exaggerating um so for us now we spend about again it's mostly just myself and Ferami in the house so we spend about 250 a month that's which is considerably lower than maybe some larger households but 250 back then that was a lot of money. that was a lot but anyway inflation so you know and this this is generally like going to the supermarket or and going to the market because we you have to go to both i'm a niger girl we buy supermarket things same way that we do same thing that we do in nigeria buy a supermarket thing buy market stuff into buy my plantain buy my f4 buy my meat i buy that at the market oh i buy that in my mom's freezer shout out to you mom <laughs> Um, yeah, joining that, and then in the supermarket, like cereals and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we spend on food. I think this is number five. It is broadband, Wi-Fi. So again, Wi-Fi here, you have um, more options because there's a lot more advanced technology here in terms, and it's more um, accessible to all. Whereas in Nigeria, it, could, it was a bit tricky. We, although we did finally find someone that um, a company that does fiber optic. There's only, as far as I know, they're the only company in Lagos that does very good fiber optic. Before that, we were dealing with like the um, the wireless um, broadband. Here in England, there's many different companies again that ha that that provide broadband services. And the one that we that I particularly went for is a popular one. They have very fast internet, although sometimes they can be tripping, but in order to pay for the extra fast internet because of the nature of my job, um, it can, it's a little bit higher. So, that, But there's, they are different types. It can range from about £10 a month to like £80 a month, depending on what you need it for. For us, we pay £32 a month, and that is for very pretty fast internet. So, yeah. That's what we do. This particular bill, it irks me, but like I said, like the Bible says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, or in our case, give to Prince Charles, oh, sorry, Charlie, King Charlie, what belongs to King Charlie, because you got to do what you got to do. So it is TV license. I know a lot of people evade this particular bill. If you do, I'm, I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Just pay it and get it off your neck. It's annoying. It's about £159 for the year. You can pay it outright or you can pay um, in instrumentally every month about 20 something pounds. And it is not fun to pay because you feel like you pay for your streaming. You buy your TV, first of all. You buy your TV. You go out and buy your TV. TV is not cheap. And then you pay for your streaming services. Like, you know, you pay for your Netflix, pay for your Disney, whatever. And... That's, that's, that's a monthly subscription. Now you have to pay for receiving that transmission or however you're receiving that transmission, that is what you're paying for and that is what TV license is. I don't really understand why we have to pay it because it's like, but we're paying for streaming services. I feel like it's a bit outdated. I think back in the day when we used to tra transmit like um, the, the channels, we only had four channels back in the day. <laughs> it's telling my age. We had BBC One, Two, Three. And four. And <laughs> later on, Channel 5 came and then the rest came. Like, we had um, cable and all of that stuff. So, we used to pay to transmit. So, we were paying for the transmission of BBC One and Two and, th and all of the channels, actually. We were paying for transmission of those channels. But now that, that we watch TV in, in different ways and I'm paying for internet, it feels weird to be paying TV license for a streaming service that I'm really receiving via the internet but hey we gotta pay it we gotta pay it and these bills do help towards building credit like building your credit history and credit history is very important especially if you want to build your life in this in the in the uk and um yeah and buy a house at some point so my brother and sisters we gotta do what we gotta do so those are the bills that we pay here in London, London town. And again, the reason why I'm specifically saying London, because I'm aware that the prices may differ from city to city. And, you know, people do say a lot that, and then also because I, from my experience, 
London is a lot more expensive. It's the most expensive city in the UK um, because it's the capital and a lot, a lot happens here. So, you know, the prices definitely differ to those that live outside of London, which is why a lot of people tend to move out of London because it's like, is it really worth it? Well, hey, I'm here. We thank God it is well. Um, and I think, I think also because I've, I've lived in London almost my whole life. So, it, and I've, I've visited other cities and I love it, but I do love living in London. So, it is what it is. I cannot complain. It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, again, let me know in the comments because I am happy to gist you on what's happening. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hurry up, please. Guys, I've come back as Editing Yeti. There are, there's one fundamental th thing that I left out in my expenses and that is transport. Transport is one of the major reasons why London is one of the most expensive cities in the world and the most expensive city in England. So I spend about, say, 50 pound just to get, or for like a bus pass, because I don't really get the train much. Um, but if I want to get the train, just to get into like central London, each time it's about a ten, it's about eleven pounds sometimes, about eleven to fifteen pounds. Um, so that's each time. But if I wanted to get a, a pass that allowed me to travel on the trains and on the bus, because it's different. If you want to get a monthly travel card. Um, with like just a few zones. One, two, we have like the central zone, which is zone one, a little bit outside the central zone, like in, we're talking about Oxford Street and such, and that's like zone one. And anywhere in the surrounding areas around there, it's zone two, a little bit further is zone three, so on and so forth, and it goes up to like zone six or seven. So it varies depending on how, where you're going to be traveling to primarily, it starts from about 173 pounds and it could be as high as 270 pounds a month for transport but like if it's just someone like me that's just getting bus here and, and train sometimes i spend like 43 pounds for a bus pass and yeah like i said and, and my other destinations i just get like um i just use rider apps and such and yeah so it's transport guys. I hope you guys can see me well, but yeah, I had to add that in because how can I forget that? Yeah. I